Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Dear students, welcome back. In this, in this video, we are going to discuss the mutation rate. As far as the mutation rate is concerned, uh, let's define it first. And it states that the likelihood that a gene will undergo a mutation in a single generation. Uh, what are likelihood? What are the chances of a mutation from one generation to the next, whether it will mutate or not? Or in forming a single gamete. So these are the two basic definitions for the mutation rate. What are the chances of a mutation from one generation to the next? And also, uh, mutation rate can be defined as the likelihood that a gene will undergo a mutation in forming a single gamete. So these are the two scenarios, whether from one generation to the next, or we can define it in another way, forming a gamete. Because gametes are responsible uh, for the formation of a new individual. Gametes from two parents, they unite or uh, they form the zygote. Now, the generalization about the mutation rates, uh, they are that the rate of spontaneous mutation is exceedingly low. And this, it is low for all organisms, although there is uh, difference, but mostly the rate of mutation is very low. The rate varies between different organisms. So we cannot, although these are generalization, but we cannot make a generalization or a general statement that the mutation rates are similar for all organisms. This is not the case. So the second generalization is that uh, mutation does occur in different organisms, but with different rates. And what adds to the complexity of the problem of the mutation rate that even within the same species, the mutation rate or the spontaneous mutation rate varies from gene to gene. So the genes that are found in a particular organisms, not all genes mutate similarly or at the same rate. So these are the three generalizations that the spontaneous rates or spontaneous mutation rates are very low. The rates vary. Uh, in different species, in different organisms, and even genes of the same species, they do not mutate at the same rate. Now, in viral and bacterial genes, the mutation rate is about 1 per 100 million, that is 10 to the power minus 8 uh, replications or cell divisions. So this was a virus and bacteria, a very uh, low rate. But in higher organisms, a plant, which is maize, an invertebrate, which is Drosophila, and human, the rates of spontaneous mutation are quite high. And they are bit, uh, one in 1 million, that is 10 raised to the power minus 6, or even uh, 1 in 0 0.1 million. So the rate is higher as compared to virus and bacteria. And spontaneous mutations in some organisms, like uh, in some mice, the rate is even higher, and that is 10 raised to the power minus 5 from 0 0.1 million to 10,000. One thing which is strange about these uh, large variations in mutation rates, as you can see, it is 10 raised to the power minus 8 in viruses and bacteria, 10 raised to the power minus 6 uh, in, uh, from minus 6 to minus 5 in maize, drosophila, and humans. And in mouse, it is even higher, 10 raised to the power minus 5 or minus 4. So what causes this variation? Why these rates are different in different organisms? This is not clear. Uh, one reason that might be given here is the mutability 
of different regions of a genome that is mutability rate of different genes which means that some genes are resistant to spontaneous mutations while there are also some genes which mutate rather easily or they can mutate frequently so this might be the cause of the variation so this is the table uh, and as you can see the genes and their mutation rates we have organism the uh, this table has four columns the organisms the phenotype and uh, the gene locus and then the mutation rates so you can see we have bacteriophage g2 e coli zea maize drosophila the mouse mus musculus and uh, uh, homo sapiens so different genes have been mentioned here their locus their trait and their mutation rates some dna sequences appear to be highly susceptible to mutations and they are what is known as mutation hotspots as i just stated earlier not all genes are not all part of the genome of a living, living organisms not all parts of the dna mutate equally or their mutation rate is equal some parts mutate rather frequently or they are susceptible that is mutation can occur in them very easily or frequently so they are known as mutation hotspots the variation between organisms may in part reflect the relative efficiencies of D, uh, dna proofreading and repair systems why these so another reason for this variation although it is not a reason uh, which can be applied in full but in part Uh, that is the efficiency of the dna proofreading when dna proofreading is very efficient the chances of mutation are very rare or there might be no mutation similarly uh, if the repair systems are well established and the repair systems are excellent so they repair all the mistakes they repair all the mistakes in the dna and there is no mutation so this variation Uh, as you can see in part may depend upon the dna proofreading and repair systems so this was a brief introduction to mutation rates uh, next is the fluctuation tech uh, test of uh, luria delbreck about the spontaneous mutations see you in the next video thanks for watching